What is going on everybody and welcome to part 26 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we're just going to be making some categories for our shop in the form of a collapsible category to where we can click on the top little bar and it'll collapse all of the elements that are below it. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First thing I want to do is just change the name of some of these variables here or just the single variable. And I want to change this from icon list to entity list just to make it a little bit more clear as to what I am representing with this icon layout. So since we changed that name, we need to go ahead and change all of the occurrences of icon list to entity list. Then these two down here. And then we are good to go. And by the way, we are working in the custom underscore menu dot Lua file for today. And we are working within the shop button dot do click function. Next up, we want to go ahead and create a couple of variables here. We'll just start with the first being the local entity category. And we want to set this equal to a new VGUI dot create. And we want to create a D collapsible category. And we want to set its parent to the shop panel. Now I want to go ahead and set a couple of values with this. So I'm just going to copy the variable name and paste it down three times because we're going to be setting three values. The first one being the position of it, so set pause. I want this to be in the top left corner, so zero, zero. Next up, we want to go ahead and set the size of it, set size. And I want this to be the width of the shop panel, so shop panel colon get wide. And I want it to just be a hundred pixels tall. And do note that you want to change this value accordingly, depending on how much stuff is within this classable category. For us, since we only have a single line of entities, 100 will work fine. But if we were to go about having two lines of entities in this classable category, what will end up happening is that anything below this entity category VGUI will be overlapped by the spawn icons that we're putting in it. So if you ever do notice that when adding stuff to this entity category, just change the height here so nothing gets overlapped and you'll be good to go. Next up, we want to set the colon, set label. And this is just going to be what we are representing with this declassable category. And this classable category is going to be in charge of holding all of the entities. And we want to create one more declassable category. So I'm just going to copy and paste this right below it. But instead of it being an entity category, I want this to be the weapon category. And everywhere that you see the weapon category, just change that, or entity category, change that to weapon category now. And again, since this is the weapon category, we want to change this from entities to weapons. And we want to change the Y position of this weapon category to 100, just so that it's right below this entity category. Because it's a size of 100, we want to go ahead and move it down 100, just so everything lines up nicely and nothing's being overlapped by the other thing. So that will do for that weapon category there. And then next up, we want to go ahead and create another list. And this list will be for the weapons. So local weapon list equals the VGUI.create, the D icon layout. And also with the parents, we no longer want it to be a child of the shop panel. We want it to be a child of its respective classable category. So the entity list is going to be a child of this entity category here. And then this weapon list, if I change the name here. And the weapon list is going to be a child of the weapon category. And save that. And let's go ahead, change the position here, the Y position, to 0, 020. And then 0, 020 down here as well. Just so, again, the spawn icons do not overlap with the top of this collapsible category. And also, since we are no longer having the shop panel as a parent, we want to go ahead and instead of shop panel colon get tall, we want to do entity category colon get tall. And same with the get wide. We want it to be entity category colon get wide. And same thing down here. Instead of get wide and get tall for the shop panel, we want to do get wide and get tall for the weapon category. And then we can go ahead and save that now. Go into Gary's mod, F4, and then into the shop. As you can see, we have the two collapsible categories, and if we click on the top blue bar here, it'll go away. And same with the weapons, but since we do not have any weapons in there, it's hard to show that, but it is working. 
And that right there is how you categorize our shop. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.